Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. I hope you've refilled those coffee cups as we're about to jump into your tech news and some very interesting stories that's come about. Absolutely, let's blow your mind a little bit. Now, America has unveiled the world's fastest supercomputer at the US Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Labor Laboratory. Mm -hmm. Now, they call it the summit pretty epic name and uh, it's eight times faster than their previous attempt and they released these numbers to give you a bit of uh, context and idea of the magnitude of this machine now it runs at get this 200 petaflops uh, Petaflop. if that doesn't make sense to you this means that it can perform 200 quadrillion floating point operations a second now Whoa. to give you a bit of context of what that means um if every single human being living on earth right now uh, were to do a calculation per second it would take us 305 days to perform what this computer can do in one second sure yeah it also has enough drive space to store 74 years worth of hd video and it takes up the floor space of about two uh, tennis courts and they also use almost 300 kilometers of fiber optic cable to build it. That, that is incredible. Uh, uh, <laughs> Blows your mind a little. I can't, I can't well, I can tell you about another computer that's been doing a fantastic job for the last 14 years. Yeah. It is the Mars Opportunity Rover. Now, we've reported on this little guy before, and it was supposed to only function for 90 days, and this was in 2004. Now, this past week, the rover found itself stuck in a superstorm bigger than North America. Now, the problem is that Opportunity Rover, he relies, um, I'm assuming it's a he, relies <laughs> entirely on solar power. It's and the dust storm is blocking the sun out. Oh, no. Now, last Wednesday, the rover went into emergency power mode with the temperatures dropping. It was only a matter of time before the batteries would stop working due to the cold. But then, miraculously, on Sunday, NASA received a signal from the little rover indicating that it is still operational. Now, they can only wait and see what will happen next. But let's hope the little guy goes from 14 years to 15 years. Yeah, he's doing a great <laughs> job at it and still has time to post for Instagram pictures. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> my, my new my, my new favorite word is now petaflops. 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 I'm gonna work that into Have every sentence. Have yourself a petaflopping day.